my black and brown women friends have recently asked me how they can help their white women friends understand their white privilege in the hopes that they can begin their anti-racism journey and in the hopes that their white women friends can finally begin to become trustworthy. Here's what I've learned. Whiteness is the most powerful drug on the planet. If you yourself don't want to wean yourself off of whiteness, then it can't and won't happen. You not only have to want to wean yourself off of whiteness, you have to desperately want to wean yourself off of whiteness. I was a white feminist until 2016. I was deeply self-loathing and internally oppressed. Nearly all of my closest friends were white women. They came to my wedding and I went to theirs. They cradled me while I wept for my mother. They would have done anything for me, except give up their whiteness. I spent one full year meeting them for coffee, for drinks, for lunch. I sent them articles. I wrote articles and sent them those. Rather than show an interest in awakening, they all dumped me. Dumping involved a pinch of ghosting and a dash of, oh, I'm really worried about you or we're really worried about you. It's involved leaving me and my family out of plans and pretending it was an accident. It's involved leaving me out of plans and not pretending it was an accident. Some of these women weren't even my friends before and they bonded over their mutual disdain for me and my craziness. They bonded over their whiteness. This is no different than the KKK. Except instead of robes, they coalesce around brunch and weddings and spin classes. I no longer have any anger towards them, but I'd be lying if it didn't still make me sad from time to time, because it does. But the overreaching feelings that I have are A, understanding, understanding that they're just reading from their whiteness script, a script that they've had before they were even born, and B, fear, fear that even though they had so much love for me and my family, it wasn't enough to reflect on their own white supremacy. So what hope do we have? Those who love us still love white supremacy more, by a long shot, the most powerful drug on the planet. As for advice, save your time, save your energy, and save your heart. Because until and unless they themselves want to eradicate the toxic whiteness that is embedded in their DNA, it'll never happen and you'll be crushed trying.